we're happy with the way we have played in the first half. We contained Bath, but we're also able to play some of our own rugby as well. Uh, I think perhaps with the balance in the first half, we need maybe to, to take them on a little bit more up front when we had the uh, had the pressure on them. Um, and we came out second half, and you know, just Bath showed how dangerous they are. A couple of missed tackles, they make you know 30, 40 yards. Um, but that was the only time they really looked really looked dangerous. And, uh, you know, we, you know, we were pleased with the first half, but um, yeah, we knew the opening opening encounter in the second half were going to be crucial. You mentioned you thought you needed to take it to them a bit more up front. I guess that worked in the second half, didn't it? Yeah, I think uh, we were able to show, our, you know, put our, show our power after we got the, the scrum dominance early on. I think the forwards we, we wanted to probably take them on a little bit more in the mall, and we managed to get that into our game in the second half, and that was certainly a plan. Uh, at some point to try and do that, but it's it's good because you, you know it's all about balance, all about uh, variation, uh, and uh, the more we can do that, the better. Tell us a bit about that ten minutes when Mark Sorensen was in the sim bin and you seven men in the scrum. What I said is it just get down and push as hard as you can? Well, yeah, you know we have a little chat in, amongst ourselves and we decide, you know, you know, are we going to put someone else on the on the side of the scrum, which is obviously going to allow them a bit more space out wide to attack. Um, but we were quite confident that we could take them on with seven. Uh, fortunately, I think. I think Caldwell was uh, injured on the floor on the on the far side, so they were actually packed with seven as well. So we tried to make sure we got that scrum in quite quickly before they had the chance to uh, to get him back in the game. And a rare try for yourself as well on a familiar ground. Yeah, rare. It's, you know, I played seven years here, and seven you know, very happy years. And uh, so it's nice to come back here and get get a win. And you know, I was lucky enough to be uh, at the back of a, a mall that was going quite well and dot down. So yeah, very pleased. Just a word. You have got a couple of weeks now between uh, this game and the game against Leicester. What will you fill that time with? Oh, the boys are going to get away next week and you know, spend some time with their families. And uh, you know, some of the uh, some of the, the other boys are going you know, far off destinations. And I think uh, I'll be doing that, just staying quite close to home and just relaxing and, and just trying to take the opportunity. Now we're just we're counting down the games, taking one game at a time. We know we've got a massive game against Leicester coming up and Exeter, so you know, you know we make sure we're, we're prepared fully, uh, take the rest and uh, come back fired up for them. Having not missed out on a rest earlier, but having made it all the way to the LV Cup final, is this week going to prove? Important for the Saints? Yeah, I think so. You know, you know, going through the LV like like we did, you know, we didn't get the opportunity to rest as, as we had, but we wouldn't have had it any other way. I think we managed to create some momentum as well with that, and uh, and the players that were here during the Six Nations, you know, we managed to galvanise and stick together and, and, and do well for the club, and then having the internationals come back, you know, the likes of like Dicko and people like that, and Douse. It really managed to, you know, step up and just another couple of voices out there. And uh, yeah, t today was, a, you know, was a, was a good, good team performance really. So we're really happy with that. Um, so yeah, we're, we're happy going forward.